Hi, in this slide I want to talk about the benefits of actually publishing uh, all the little small wins, uh, the praising statements that we can generate within our company as we are transitioning from mediocrity to service excellence brilliance uh, one niche at a time. The first benefit is the people who get the, get the ink go, all right, I love ink. They're thrilled, they take it home, see, and whatever. And normally people say, oh, I don't want to give them uh, you know, praise because then they're going to get lackadaisical. But what the, the, the beauty of the, the high performance environment, the six, six boundary hexagon system, is because of the way everything is measured and because of the pressure for continuous improvement and mastery, no one ever stops. Everybody goes, oh, no, no, that's, uh, it's not like I got better, you know, did one thing and now I'm a 10. I got better and I'm a 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. There's always lots more to do. And so as long as there's lots more to do, I'm happy to get more ink. Uh, the second reason is that everybody else who reads it is encouraged. They start to think, you know, the futility of individual action is not a concern. There are more and more people I don't even know at other locations who are, are making things happen, got their oar in the water. This is great. You know what? It might work. This boat might really, you know, plane and we might really get to the promised land. We might really have gain sharing bonuses. I'm excited. The third thing is that the coasters, the people who are active negatives, passive negatives, just indifferent, uh, they're, they're all very curious. Every, everybody is sort of petty and wants to know what's going on and so forth. And they might start to get a little bit envious um, and say, gee, you know, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, I, I should get a little of this action, get with the program. But more often, it's a more of a fear. It's kind of, uh, oh, gee, we've had three, four, five, six, eight weeks of, 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 of Friday good news bulletins, and uh, I'm not getting any ink, and the numbers are everywhere, and I can't hide. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting exposed for being the coaster or non-team playing active negative. Uh, I, I'm losing this battle. So I better get with the program or I'm, I'm, I can't deal with the stress. I may have to get out of the company. And there have been times where I've had somebody who's just not getting with the program. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to let this person go. And that's always tough. And they walk in and say, Bruce, you know, I hate to tell you this, but I'll be moving on. I'm taking another job. And sometimes they're very honest. They say, you know, it doesn't pay as much, but you know what? They don't expect as much either. It's like the, it's like the way this company used to be before you got here. So I call that a beautiful exit when somebody is actually leaving and for another job and I don't have to fire them. That's great. Um, the uh, Another benefit is the management team starts to develop a new good coaching habit. It's not every manager who can spontaneously, without thinking about it, automatic pilot, see a, a, a praising benefit opportunity uh, for what it is and instantly spontaneously communicate that and fill out the card and get it in there and appreciate it in the bigger picture why this is compounded energy going into the flywheel. But over time, they all start to get it. So, and that's the, the ties to the fifth point, which is that, you know, when you think about the flywheel, you have to believe in the long run and the idea of building on momentum, getting interest on interest on interest on interest, and how that starts to really give you huge, huge returns uh, further down the road. Initially, it's like watching paint drying, but, but very, very quickly, you start to get a sense of energy and things moving and changing, and, and that's a very fantastic feeling. So those are the publication benefits. Thanks.